So this is Archimedes principle. So here I have a stand with a spring balance. So I'm hanging some weight. So that is my load, if you see. And this load is in cylindrical uh, shape. If I want to find volume of this uh, load, and I have my formula to calculate volume for the cylindrical shaped object. So it's nothing but pi r square h. Basically, I have this uh, my radius with a ruler. Uh, I can find this radius, and I can also find this height. So by keeping this cylindrical shaped object in my hand, using this formula, I can find this volume. And also, if I hang this cylindrical shaped object in the spring balance, it will show this mass. And uh, when I submerge this load into this water, some amount of water is getting displaced. So by collecting this water and by keeping this measure, measure jar in hand, so I'll collect this uh, water which is getting displaced by this load and put it in this uh, measuring jar to find the volume of this cylindrical shaped object. But here on the second stand, what if I have an object like this, a stone which is real, irregular in shape and I can also find the mass of this uh, stone by simply hanging it in the spring balance and uh, I will submerge this stone in this tub of water again I will uh, collect this water which is getting displaced which is nothing but the volume of this stone since I already got this mass mass by volume is nothing but the density of the stone so I can find the mass volume as well as density of this unknown object which is something irregular in shape.